Oh, I don't know, but it was a good night, definitely. Um, it, it looked more like the kind of team you wanted, the control and possession with Mount and Amrabat in particular. You looked to have control of the game right from the start. Well, I think it's, it's the truth. Yeah, we had, we dominated the game. And I think we had some good attacks. Um, we control in, in possession and, and we created the chances and um, we score a great goal. James. Hi. Uh, what do you think that game and I suppose the Burnley one before it as well will do for an army? A couple of good saves at the end there for him, you know, in terms of his, his confidence after the, the start. Uh, of course. There's always when you uh, clean sheet uh, will always give a keeper confidence. And especially when you contribute, when you have had some great save, like on Saturday when he had that header, was a very important save there. And now in the end he had two uh, fantastic uh, saves. So uh, that will help and that will building his confidence. And but yeah, he has personality. Uh, he he deals with situations uh, with pressure. Um, he can do that, and I think he's uh, starting to do that now. Samuel. Mason Mount played very well. I know you said it was precaution him coming off. Is that the benchmark for him now to, to play at that level and be that creative in games? Ah, oh, but he, uh, he played very well. But I, I'm sure when he is, say, he's totally integrated, uh, he will play much better. And uh, that is, he's just starting uh, at United. And just um, regarding injuries and taking it head, were McTominay and Eriksson, their absences tonight, was that injury related? Uh, are ill, both. Come. Mr Ten Hag, Garnacho scored today after not featuring on the weekend. How do you think he's developed going from being a substitute to being a starter? Uh, you have seen, on the start of the season, we played him, and uh, his, then his contribution uh, was not good enough. And but um, he had also then some good actions. You see, always that he has um, that he always is a threat in the game, even when he is not playing that well. And uh, he has to learn when I do my job in defending, I will always have my moment, and he will always be decisive uh, because he has yeah, great qualities. So it's the off-ball action that you want more from him as well. No, it's not only the off ball, <laughs> no. Um, but I also I want to see, like today, he's entering the box. He was on the right spot, and uh, to finish. Uh, but I think it's quite normal eh, for a player on his age that there is a lot uh, space for a lot of improvement. But uh, I think everyone likes him. The fans like him. Um, the team liked him. That uh, I like him. Uh, but also uh, we have to demand him. Uh, we have to push him uh, because um, uh, he can act on a very high level, but he has to show it every day. Richard. Uh, hi Eric, just in terms of Amrabat playing left back in the first half today, um, what did you make of his performance? What does he give you there and is he an option there for other games as well? Uh, Sufjan is a player and <laughs> that was one of the reasons we signed him. So where the team needs him, uh, he will play. And so he can play on more positions, but uh, of course every player has his best position. And but he gives uh, a certain dynamic in the game. I think we have seen today, uh, but also for him, uh, and that is for, for many players. Uh, we just started, and yeah, the process is a little bit uh, was a little bit interrupted uh, by the many injuries we have, uh, because when you uh, can play. Uh, a longer time with the same team and then you get routines uh, the players uh, they learn each other better and then it's more say automatic and uh, but you see Mason you see Amrabat you see also others but when they, they can contribute to our game and they will do Rob um, Tonight was the start of a little run of home games and you've got five more home games now between now and the end of October do you see this next block as a chance to Build some momentum, maybe lift the mood a little bit. Uh, the mood with us uh, is um, is always good, uh, but of course, uh, when you are not winning uh, at United, 
Uh, there is disappointment, there is frustration, but the togetherness is always there uh, with us. And, but yeah, and we know uh, that we are not now in the position where we want to be. Yeah, so we have to, to build up, we have to catch up. And, but then you have to go from game to game and working on the process and working on the results. And uh, don't think too far ahead. And next game is most important, always. Uh, last question, Neil. Um, Eric, there's reports in Germany today saying that the big problem with Jaden Sancho is he doesn't sleep properly because he's up until the early hours playing Xbox games. Are you aware of this? Have you asked him about this? I don't talk about uh, personal issues and I don't talk about players who are not available. Okay, thank you very much.